The culture in our, comp our country is deeply divided over the issues, and all I respect every one of these people outside this door and their opinion. I don't discount their opinion whatsoever. I may disagree with it, but I don't discount it. So that these are difficult decisions, but I believe it's time for sacrifice. Thank you for your time and all your hard work through this virus. So that comes from Marla Lake. Dan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So I don't need to tell everyone that I'm going to be voting against this. As a, a representative in this country, I feel my first duty as an elected official is to protect your rights. We have the Bill of Rights. We don't have the Bill of Feelings. And I know that's really tough. There are certain risks we have to take to live in a free society. And I believe it's up to the individual to gauge those risks. Um, I don't think masks work. I really don't. There have been mandates in other countries like France and Italy. And the, um, uh, their numbers are going up. Now you can argue, oh, well, that's because people aren't complying. And I can argue that's because masks don't work. We have experts here that came and talked to us just earlier, and they don't understand how this virus works. No one does. Therefore, my opinion is that a mask is a mere placebo, especially given that the CDC originally said no. And then they said, well, you know, if you really want to block a virus, you have to use an N95 mask. That's most effective. These cloth masks are basically fashion accessories. They're not helping you. Um, especially given that we have no data on how the thing works. We don't know why it'll go into a place and it'll literally kill one person and the rest of the people never get it. How can you fight something that you don't understand? Um, and I think that there's going to be massive civil disobedience. It's going to put our cops in a really awkward situation. And I, even though the chief, I think he was polite, I don't think that direction has been given on this, because if you people were really serious, first of all, you'd mandate N95 masks. You would mandate a proper disposal method for the masks, if they are truly contaminated. And you would also uh, mandate that there would be uh, adequate enforcement of this. And you're not. So therefore, this is just a political game, and I will not participate. Thank you.